Hello and welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on April the 14th, 2022. Tom, there are concerns surrounding inflation, interest rates, the war in Ukraine and COVID ramping up. Can you see any daylight? Well, there's always daylight and there's always a lot going on. If you take those events in their totality, you probably want to hide underneath your bed. But in actual fact, if you break them down somewhat, uh, inflation, first off, the inflation numbers are highly suspect. There's a lot going on in the energy world, for example, energy security, the reality of energy security is bumping up against climate change constraints. We have to look at security first, keeping warm, keeping economies going. So that's percolating through and raising costs all over the place. Supply chain, big problems there. Also, a lot of people don't want to come back to work. A lot of people are used to staying at home now, so companies are having a tough time bribing people to come back to the office. So the inflation numbers are high. They're very, very high, historically high. But the $64 question is, are they going to ease or be permanent? I think they're going to ease significantly over time as we get back to whatever looks like a normal. Uh, interest rates are trending up. We just know that. Uh, the other day, uh, Bank of Canada increased 50 basis points. Those are not major items yet. No central bank is going to raise rates high enough to choke off an economic recovery. Nobody wants to do an Alan Greenspan all over again. Uh, the war in Ukraine, an unfolding human tragedy, and it's just going to dr grind on as far as I can see. The only uh, easing I can see is if Mr. Putin wakes up dead one day because he has to have a win there somewhere or he's in serious trouble at home. So that's unfortunately going to grind on to whatever conclusion. He doesn't want to even have peace talks anymore. COVID, it's coming back a little bit again, but keep in mind, this is going to be a fact of life from now on. Uh, if you're concerned about it, wear a mask, uh, that's it. I don't think governments are going to, I don't think they could pull off a shutdown again. In fact, we're seeing the Shanghai shutdown going to zero COVID, not possible. You can only do that in a totalitarian state. So if you look forward, there are positives coming through this. The inflation will abate. Sadly, at some point, the Ukraine will get resolved. Interest rates are really a function of, of inflation at this point in time. Wear a mask. Yeah. So, okay, do you think that there has been a trend change in the markets? Well, the interesting thing about the market, all this really negative stuff is going on, but what is surprising, the stock markets have kept going up. They've been quite firm. They, they're chopping quite a bit now, and maybe the trend might level out just for a little bit here, but I, I still think the trend is on the upside. If we talked about inflation, the only way you can really protect against inflation is owning stuff or assets, common shares, equities and companies, that's stuff, that's real stuff, and they can, they can hedge somewhat against inflation. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, equity markets will probably have a reasonable tone. They may flatten for a while, they're gonna be choppy, depending on how cataclysmic the current events are going to be. But in actual fact, I still remain relatively positive going out through the balance of this year because the, the, the money going into the market, the investment going on, the tone of the market has stayed very uh, positive or constant during all this crisis stuff that we've been going through. So that's a, that's a ray of hope. That's, uh, and the market, like it or not, is a pretty good forecaster. So that's a very good note to end on. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.